Uh, so I will attempt to uh, hide. Uh, bird brain got a seven. <laughs> I just so you guys are aware right now, when I said I didn't want to, and I said I I was I didn't want to give the snakes a new initiative. I have about roughly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 initiative lines right now I have to focus on. Thank you for telling us how many enemies there were. I, I already told you how many enemies there were. The, They're that, right on the screen. Yeah, yeah but that you said 15. Is... There's not 15 enemies Plus on the us. screen. Plus us. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I thought I thought you meant you had 15. Wouldn't the two uh, snakes? The, us. Two snakes would be make it 17? No. Two snakes, to make, it, two snakes to make it 17, but they're, you guys are sharing the initiative with your snakes. Oh, okay. That's that's just what I'm saying as a DM, just to make it a bit easier than to give them their own initiative order. But yeah. we still have a, a quick time to, to plan with our communicators. Though. As long as they have. We're not yeah. jumping yes. right yes. into Yeah, no. Battle. Right now, okay. this is just getting it in the order in case, you know, you guys are spotted or something. How, you said these these towers that the archers are on are about fifteen feet tall, roughly. Okay, well, um, I quietly tell um, cricket. Um, cricket. So, what if what to once we get into this, you could use your earth bending thing to um, uh, raise some dirt under two legs of that tower and kind of topple the tower. Which tower? The the one the closest one? to us. I can do my best for that one. Okay, well we'll give you the we'll give you the signal on that. Okay. Um I'm wondering if perhaps uh one of us can try to attract the attention of the ones on the ground and lead them away. Uh, I do have uh the ability to sprint uh which should allow me to keep uh, ahead of the ground units. What? But we do not want to alert them. No, true, true, true. I guess that would uh, ruin our uh, advantage, um, our advantage of surprise. With a surprise attack, we should all be able to attack before they get a chance. Mm. No, that is true. That is true. Uh, good, uh, good Harmon. What is your area of effect on your um, loudness? Thunder wave. I can. Do that. Uh... No, he your your pan flute. <laughs> <laughs> um, my range slash area is a fifteen foot radius from wherever I. Uh, no, it's from me. So fifteen feet from me. Fifteen feet from mm. you. But when the sound is well, the the sound is heard audibly out to three hundred feet. The damage is the important part. Yes, yes. I, I, you would not be able to attack the their leader uh, from where we are right now, and no. and I fear getting too close to the um, to the, the two beasts before we are uh, ready to attack, as they may alert uh, the others. I'm sure they have keener senses uh, than uh, the rest of these do. Can we tell the species and the races of the the other guards? They all seem humanoid. Roughly. Humanoid. Okay. But we can't uh, tell that, for sure. No, they all seem to be wearing like hoods and masks and stuff. To me, this is this is gonna be a shot in the dark. I turn to uh Cricket and ask him, Do you have any tree sap on you? I do not. <laughs> we are in a forest. How much tree sap do you require? Well, I just need a little bit, um, Plus an eyelash, and I can go invisible, <laughs> and I can go invisible for up to an hour. Now you tell us. I and I do have I can't do have the stealth skills, but again, um, if if good if good uh, Krikar takes the first tower down, and um, uh, and Harmon and I. I stealthily approach the two, the green and the purple guard, to take them. Try to take them down silently. Uh, how how dark is it? 
I mean, they, they're around a campfire, right? But it's still probably pitch black around. I can, I can snuff that out. Uh, that may may cause a little bit, that may alert them a little bit, or the others uh, sooner than we would like. Um, when it comes to how light it is, uh, the camp itself is actually seemingly pretty well lit. Okay. Um, like where you guys kind of are, it's a little bit harder to see. It's not like pitch black because there, it's like there's still the moon and the stars and stuff out. Like hmm. but... from the the edge of the towers, are the towers in the dark? Or are the towers lit up in any way? Lighter than it, lighter than the forest, but it is still decently dark. Like so, it's not perfectly lit up. You'd still have disadvantage roughly in that area. I, I do feel that the the towers may be our uh, biggest threat early on, other than the boss. Um, if we can take, if uh, Good Krakar can take down one tower. Uh, your snakes probably won't be able to do anything. They would be best set against uh, somebody on the ground. Uh, Good Morden, you have a bow. Do you think you could hit uh, the closest, uh, the, the archer closest to you? I plan to try to take that tower and keep it. That uh, actually would be a good, a good option. How tall do you say they were? Fifteen feet tall. Yeah. Uh, I may be able to storm the middle tower then, uh, if I sneak up on it uh, to get as close as possible. I, we, I know we we joked about the scale, but can we confirm on the scale? Like, how far away are we from that middle tower? Uh, you from the middle tower are thirty feet, roughly. Thirty feet. Okay, okay so, so pretty tight then. Okay. Like you guys aren't that far away from them. So the, the measuring tool, if you use it on the right, is accurate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Where is that? For the for this fight, the measuring the, tool is accurate. The lack of grids on me because I forgot to the triangle. put it in when I saved it. Okay. Okay. I may be able to um, sneak up on the middle t- or attempt to sneak up on the middle tower, and I should be able to scale it quite quickly. And actually, if it's fifteen feet, I should be able to jump uh, if I use a key point. And with the two snakes on the ground, uh, take, keeping two of the groundsmen busy. Um, it will distract three of them. Yes. Uh, and then Good Harmon, uh, or so Good Harmon, what, uh, uh, what do you think, uh, what would your action uh, like to be? Well, I was just uh, using the communicator to notify oh. that uh, I could attempt to put to sleep as many of those creatures as possible. Ah, yes. Yes. Um, that would probably be our best first option. And then from there, the rest of us should move in. Uh, if, if I cast it above the campfire, that would hit um, um, pretty much everyone except the guy on the far tower the beast in the the far beast in the cage and the one solitary guy closest to the other two it would be dependent on your rule then how many are yes yes yeah but at the very least it may give us an early advantage yeah uh guys quick yes uh i want to say we are closing up on the last half hour of the session do you guys want to continue on for extra half hour today Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah sure. I, I figured out extend the offer to you guys. All right. Any any amendments to the plan? Amendments to the plan. <laughs> okay. Um. Looks like uh, if Morden is gonna sneak up on the red tower. No, I'm, I'm gonna. gonna shoot him. Okay. I'm gonna sneak up on the orange guy that's alone. I assume we've got the because it's a sneak attack. We can do our sort of first actions outside of initiative, or at least until they become aware of us. I will say, Wuldov. Mm, I'll say well, you guys get one surprise attack. Is what I'll okay. say. Okay. And that includes Krikar. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so if I... Morden, Morden would, is, um... I would miss the guard. 
See, Morden is recommending something that sounds pretty good. In the communicator. In yes. He's communicating. Will, this, will the sleeping spell affect the snakes? Um, yes. If from over there, it probably won't reach them. Depending. Oh, okay, yeah. If if I if I send it above the the campfire where I proposed first, yeah, then ours probably will be just no. out of range. Then it could, then it could hit if the snakes are after the guys and the, the the red and yellow guys at the campfire. If you keep them, if you keep the snakes away from them and just focus them on the the single guy and the guy in the tower, then we'll come no. them back for now. Okay, you can send your snake up to the tower because you're going to try to take that tower. Yeah. No, he's taking the closest tower. Yeah, the yeah. red tower. Yeah. And I'll send my snake after the orange guy. Okay. I will then send my snake to head towards the first tower and to he start heading up the ladder. But not to shall alert I, itself. Shall I, add, shall I add two small figurines for the snakes then? Oh, yes, yes, I want my figurine. That's not small. That's, that's very big. <laughs> what is this purple line doing? I don't know what's going Sorry. on. Sorry. Sorry. That's more Sorry. like Sorry. the size they, they, they used to be. Uh, this, this, yeah, I can't move them right now. Yeah, they're so tiny. <laughs> He's perfect. He's so cute. Right. Okay. This one is going. Um, and before we start attacking, I would like to cast Hail of Thorns at the ready. Ugh. All right. Oh, right, because you take a turn to do that, don't you? It's a, it's a bonus action, but I'd like to have um, it at the ready. I, I will say that you can do that after we start going to the round. Okay. So, with that, we're going to go top of the round. What the heck? Oh, what happened? Wow, that was cool. That's the sleeping oh, spell. That's your area of effect. That, that's oh, the area of effect of the sleeping spell. Cool! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he can't do anything to most of those people, but... <laughs> that's the effect. Yeah, he's that's only cool. going to hit maybe one or two, but... Mm -hmm. how, how does the sleeping spell work again? Is it you have to get older hit points? Yes. So what I what I do is I roll five d eight, and then that number is divvied up among the creatures. So if if there's only like two or three that can be sleeping, then it's I guess it's however you want to do it. Really, it's I will say based would on would it make sense to focus on just like say the four closest to us? Unless you cast it as well, a... Well, uh, it's... I, I, I casted it just to, If I cast it just above the campfire that's close to us, that's a 20-foot radius. Yeah. No, 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 but I, I mean... Um, it, it affects the creatures from the lowest hit points going up, so... Oh, okay, all right. So, okay, yeah. it, it, that makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, you, I thought you, that we would get an advantage by only having four creatures instead of seven. If you no. cast it as a second-level spell, you get an extra eight... An extra D8. Okay. Extra 2 oh. D8 for each slot. Oh, is it, oh, oh. Is it 2? Yeah. When you cast a spell using a spell slot of 2nd level or higher, roll an additional uh, 2 D8 for each slot level above 1st. If you wanted to use that. Oh. Yeah, it is. That okay. would probably be most advantageous then. Oh, man. I'm getting nervous. Alright. Is everyone in Top ready? of the round. <laughs> Wilda, what you up to? Uh, so I will attempt to uh, hide. Okay. Um, b -b 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 Make a stealth check. Is that how I do it? It's just stealth, right? Yeah. So you um, need to make a stealth check. Yeah. Darkness should be enough to let you hide. Yeah, I could do it with um, partial any cover. That's of, what it is. Any That's kind of natural um, partial... So, Cover. Sorry, what was the what was the roll again? Uh, stealth check, please. Stealth. Oh, there we go. It's an actual thing. That is a ten. All right. Um. And I was gonna attempt to. Well, I guess I I tried to do stealth first. So that is just you think you're stealthing. Yes, you think I you're think stealthing, stealthing decently. You think you could pass as hiding, maybe. <laughs> and. 
And I can go... I want to stay out of the area of effect. 